Hey, and welcome back. This is part three, uh, still talking about native Xcolidraw features, now looking at some of the more advanced features, groups, layers, alignments, uh, and more. So if I open this up and uh, just pull this to the side and create a new empty document for us to work in, uh, I'm going to uh, change this to light mode and remove the grid. Um, so let's talk about groups. Uh, so let's say I have this box and I have this text saying box and I actually would like these to move together. So if I click here, I want the two to move together. So that's very easy. I can select the two objects and I can select group selection and with that I can move my selection around. Let's color this uh, maybe with a gray background and I'll just make it uh, fully uh, filled. Um, then let's look at layers. So let's say I have this circle and this circle is uh, orange or yellow. And if now I move this circle on top of the box, then you can see that the circle is over the box. However, here under layers, I can send the circle back and with that uh, I can manage different layers uh, in my drawing. Uh, also, there's uh, the option of aligning objects. So if I select two objects, I can uh, align them to the left. If I have a third object, uh, for example, this diamond, then I can also distribute uh, items uh, vertically and I can uh, center them uh, horizontally and with that you can set the alignment of these items. Uh, you can choose parts of your drawing so maybe I want these two objects and I'd like to copy them to a PNG or an SVG uh, image so I'm going to copy this now to PNG and I'm going to create a new document here and if I hit Control V then you can see that uh, my uh, two uh, objects in a PNG uh, format were copied from Xcolidraw. I can do the same, I can select uh, my objects, I can Ctrl C copy these objects and if I open up Xcolidraw.com I can paste these objects and work with these objects uh, in uh, Xcolidraw.com or another Xcolidraw window within Obsidian. Uh, there's a hidden feature. Uh, Xcolidraw supports uh, some simple charts. So take this data set here, for example. If I copy this data set uh, to the clipboard, then uh, and then uh, Control V, uh, paste it into my drawing, then Xcolidraw offers two uh, charts that I can use and if I choose one of them I paste then you can see that uh, my data was uh, pasted and so this is a, a nice uh, simple feature. So that were all the more advanced features and then next time we're going to talk about the stencil library.